Alright, Pisces. Overall energy. Something's come to a halt. Something's stagnant, okay? Stuck and stagnant. I feel there's someone who's not making a move towards you or you're not making a move towards someone, okay? Could be someone that you're dealing with who was anyways very slow moving and now they're not moving at all, alright? Someone's not... That energy of chasing and pursuing is not there, okay, right now. Could be dealing with a soulmate, but there's definitely someone here who's coming back, who's come back from you, uh, who's come back to you from the past, okay? There's been good, uh, exciting communication, a lot of passion between you guys, all right? All right, I see. So, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups here, I feel there was a reconciliation, okay? If there is not, I think there is a reconciliation coming up. Like I said, you can be anywhere on the timeline, all right? It depends on you, on your story. So, I feel that there is a soulmate coming back towards you, okay? Or someone does not have to be a soulmate, could be someone from the past life, or could be just someone who uh, deems uh, that you're their soulmate, or this is how you look at them, okay? But someone with a significant difference between you both, okay? What I'm getting here is that there, there is a reunion here, there is a reconciliation here, but... Things are still stuck, okay? There is no uh, moving forward again. Things are, again, on, on a standstill out here is what I'm getting. Right now, you guys seem to be very happy, okay? Very optimistic. And whatever's going on, there's a lot of clarity out here. Maybe there was a lack of clarity before, but now there's a lot of clarity. There's a lot, a lot of optimism. You're like you're looking at things uh, from a brighter perspective of you, okay? What is your challenge is that there is still a huge element of crying over spilt milk, all right? With the five of cups here as your challenge, I feel that this is still, there's still that element of, you know, more than um, anything, I feel it's more like someone who's still focused on the past. You're still, no matter how happy you are, the sun can also be something where you're trying to show people, okay, that everything's very bright and happy, okay? But from within, what is your immediate challenge is to stop crying over spilt milk, stop focusing on the energies, stop focusing on energy on things that are already gone, which is already in the past, okay? If the sun is not here, it is coming into the current situation, okay? So there is clarity here. The, the happiness is here. But it's up to you. If you want it, you will have to move forward, okay? You will have to focus on the positive things and let go of the negative things, okay? You'll have to stop living in the past, in short, okay? Because that is your biggest challenge. On your mind, you want commitment or you're just very, very focused on your work. You're focused on your family, your kids. The king of pentacles is the bread owner of the family, okay? It's not about the gender, but it's more about someone who's very, very focused. They look they look at longevity, okay? They look at commitment. They look at family. That's a very traditional person, okay? They like um, something long term, okay? So that's what's on your mind. So either this is commitment or this is you being focused on you, all right? However, the entire issue is because I feel that you're... You're probably dealing with someone who's still not making a move towards you, okay? Maybe you want this commitment. Maybe you want someone to be very stable towards you. This person was anyways very slow moving towards you and now they've things have come to a complete halt, all right? And now, I think you are the one who's losing interest and passion in this person, okay? You're taking a step back and with the king of pentacles, I feel you're focusing on yourself is what I'm getting. It could be anything. Even if commitment is your focus, okay? You're like going to be like, if you're not making a move towards me, I ain't doing shit. That's what I'm getting. Because you're losing interest and passion. That's the reason for the reading. That's the root of the issue. Maybe because you're still crying over spilt milk. It's, you know what, Pisces? It's like you have a choice with the sun here to be happy, to look at things optimistically, to stop controlling the outcome. You have that choice. But with the five of cups here, you have a resistance. You know, you're constantly resisting your happiness from coming in because you're, it's, it's like that the past regret is overplaying, it's replaying in your mind, okay? Again and again and again, which is blocking the sun, again. So I see Five of Cups as an obstacle out here rather than influence, all right? The obstacle out here is this. That's your image, your challenge out here. In the past, I see that you could have given a lot to this relationship, okay, to a point of exhaustion. You almost made this person your priority and you were like the last priority in this person's life. Even if it wasn't like that, you were just giving and giving and giving and gave to a point of exhaustion, to a point where you felt that you just stopped realizing your worth and value, okay? And like I say, we decide and we teach people how they treat us, okay? So the way you treat yourself, that's how people treat you. So you probably could have given so much to this relationship at a point, there were just no healthy boundaries is what I'm getting, okay? There was just no boundaries. There was anything and everything that this person wanted and there were no boundaries, you know. You just gave and gave and gave and gave, okay. 
to a certain point of getting there was a codependent relationship maybe you were very codependent on this person and you didn't realize your self worth and self esteem that's why i see that with the knight of swords in reverse here in the near future you're holding back so you're holding back from this person maybe earlier you had a habit of i'm sorry maybe earlier you had a habit of rushing it okay or wanting to communicate or confront this person okay every single time you had an issue you just wanted to rush in and talk to this person like what's going on i need answers let's talk about this you know like you were i'm getting you were the one who was pursuing this relationship you were the one chasing this relationship okay you're not doing that anymore queen of wands in reverse knight of swords in reverse you're not doing this anymore you're losing the interest you're losing that mojo you know you're not getting that mojo back to pursue this anymore and probably i feel with the knight of pentacles remember this is you this is you what you're doing right now is i think that um you need to make a decision but i think you know what you're doing you're holding off from making a decision i think you're making a decision to step back because you feel that you don't have all the information that you need to make a choice of whether you want to walk away or whether you want to be here so you're choosing the middle road okay you're choosing the midway because you feel it's just safer right well maybe because in your emotions i feel you have hope you have faith you know that this is a destined and fated connection is what i'm getting that's why you're holding back from making any impulsive decisions all right you're not rushing into this <laughs> you are holding back again because you you, you don't want to jump in to conclusions this time that's why you're being indecisive right now but what well, this indecision looks like a good indecision to me it's almost like i don't want to rush in and make a decision because i still don't know i still don't have all the cards on the table okay well, here you do but well, in your mind you don't have all the cards in your mind okay so you're holding back however the person that you're dealing with is quite a control freak all right so keep that in mind okay this person is very hard to budge very uh, difficult to change their mind okay and they come from they're coming from a place of ego and stubbornness okay my way or the highway and maybe this person is very hellbent on not giving you what you want why because you want it no i'll give it to you when i want it and that's the fight that's the conflict that's going on between you guys right so again what i'm getting is you're dealing with someone who's coming from a place of ego all right this is a control freak this is someone who knows that they've lost control over the situation okay and now they're like going all over the place this is someone who doesn't know they're not investing their energy in the right way hmm someone who lacks structure okay they lack stru structure and stability could be dealing with a boss could be someone you know who's very very emotionally detached okay they're not really the best people to be with in a relationship because all they just know is how to control all right however with a likely outcome as the devil in reverse this is a good sign you're releasing you're freeing yourself could be this person could be the situation okay it can be anything but i feel by the end because you're taking back your power because you realize your self worth because you realize that this is probably not the correct thing you know what i'm getting that now from the masculine energy maybe you were always in the masculine energy you were pursuing this you were very forthcoming in this relationship now you're be, you're you're pulling yourself back now you're in your feminine energy you're focusing on everything and anything that makes you happy and it's like if you don't give me that stability that's fine i'm going to give myself that stability okay i'm going to pull back my energies because i have given a lot to this relationship in the past all right so i'm going to completely stop this is where i stop and i'm not going to rush in anymore if you message me i'm not going to go all crazy about it unless you have anything stable to offer me um i am not going to take action that's what i'm hearing this person still lacks boundaries okay this person could be someone you know who just wants everything their way like my way or the highway right now you still keep giving to me as a girlfriend or a boyfriend you know i don't want to take the responsibilities of a girlfriend or a boyfriend but i want all the benefits of the same could be someone that you're dealing with like that okay because they lack boundaries this person does not have healthy boundaries and actually this is the reason why because with the emperor look we have the emperor and empress 
out here. This is a divine couple, but they're both in the reverse because they both lack boundaries. So I'm getting in the past, you lack boundaries. That's why now this person, this person could have been very pushy towards you. Okay, like give and give and give and give and they never give anything back. That's why you were exhausted and this person is still in that element. And you probably have that realization, you know, you have that realization. The sun, again, the sun is an epiphany. It is an aha moment. It is a clarity. It is a realization, okay? There's some realization that you've had, okay? And I'm getting that realization could be something like you're not attached to this person anymore. You're detaching your, yourself from this connection or from this person because you realize that they're the devil. That's why it's in the reverse. You're releasing yourself because you could have felt very tight, bound and restricted to this person. And now you're letting it go because you feel it has to be an equal give and take. I don't see the six of pentacles here, but I feel that you realize that this is not worth investing to, you know, you're not putting your energy here. You're putting in your energy into something that you have the potential in or something that will grow, which is probably your work, yourself, your career, your family, your kids, whatever have you. All right. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. That was a good reading. And uh, let me know in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. That'd be really cool. And bye-bye.